Welcome back to 2230, the channel where we delve deep into the most pressing news and political issues in Asia. Today, we're zooming in on Singapore's political landscape, specifically the recent vacancies in its parliament and the urgent call for by-elections. Singapore, known for its efficient and well-organized governance, is currently facing a unique challenge. Among the 88 elected full-blown members of parliament, or MPs, in the Singaporean parliament, we've seen the departure of five MPs and one under investigation by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Board. This raises a critical question, are Singaporean voters and the nation as a whole being underserved? Let's break it down. First, let's recount the MPs who have left their wards. We have Raisa Khan from Senkang GRC, Leon Pereira from Aljunia GRC, Tan Chuan Jin from Marine Parade GRC, Cheng Li Hui from Tampines GRC, and the newly elected and appointed President Tharman Shanmugaratnam from Jurong GRC. In addition, S. Iswaran from West Coast GRC is currently under investigation. It's worth noting that two ministers and one Speaker of Parliament are among these six departures, clearly not a usual situation. Now, one might argue that one or even two vacancies won't disrupt the flow of constituency life, as the groundwork can be covered by others. Singapore has a history of MPs stepping up to fulfill their duty to their constituents. For instance, Ching J.I.T. Kuhn once doubled up to make up for the absence of the founding Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, in Tanjong Pago GRC. Others like Chan Chun Singh and Indrani Raja have also taken up this duty with pride. However, it's not just about the nitty-gritty of constituency work. Every MP brings something unique to Parliament. They represent the concerns and experiences of their constituents, and their absence can result in a loss of diverse voices. It's this diversity of perspectives that enriches the quality of debates and discussions in the legislative body. We can't predict what any of these six MPs might have said or proposed that could have shaped the history of Singapore. The scale of vacancies is significant, and the time until the next general elections in 2025 is a concern. The current situation becomes even more unwieldy given the leadership transition in the People's Action Party and the global challenges like the US-China rivalry and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So, what do you think, viewers? Should Singapore hold by-elections now to fill these crucial vacancies, or should they consider bringing forward the general elections? Your comments and opinions matter. Let's engage in a constructive discussion on this important issue. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth analyses of Asian news and politics. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, stay informed and engaged.